This is the second part of an explanation of a parallax LIDAR concept. Uh, first, we're going to use the laser, laser pointer, and use the uh, constellation cap, which is actually two diffraction grating lenses put on top of each other at a 45 degree angle. So, this would be the one, and whenever you add the other one, it looks something like this. Um, what we are getting is the pretty good grid that we are going to use uh, to create a three-dimensional laser picture. And one thing also I would like you to notice is the central point of that laser, which is right now at the letter O of the word close. If we would turn on the diffraction grating lens laser pointer and the camera, the camera would see that uh, picture, here I drew only very few points, with a central point somewhere very close to the center of the picture. And whenever the reflected surface is not far away but close, this picture of the, uh, of the, the grid actually moves to the left and that central point would move from infinity to somewhere here. Eventually, you will get so close that all these points start getting together and uh, software wouldn't be able to differentiate between them. And another reason um, why this uh, diffraction grading points are at an angle, here it's approximately 10 degree angle, is that traveling of the points can interfere with each other. So this point would be traveling from, say, here to here, and this point would be traveling from here to here. And experimentally, I found out that if you would put them together in one line, your computer would start confusing points with each other and wouldn't know where they are located. So something like 10 degree turn of the constellation cap will give you an optimal optimal grid that a computer can recognize. Unfortunately the camera and the lasers are not necessarily ideal so if you would use just one point and aim at the center it would not necessarily be exactly at 320 and 240 point, it would be somewhere. So I introduced cal calibration. I would use only one point instead of the whole grid and shoot it far away, say six meters. Um, camera would be able to see that point six meters away. Next, I would bring it as close as possible while a uh, camera can still see it and it would be a point something like, not here, sorry, here, something like 300 millimeters. Uh, this, I would know, is the travel distance of the reflection from infinity to minimum distance. But I choose to cal calibrate my lasers at uh, 2,000 millimeters or 2 meter point. I also put hard uh, limits in the code to ne not allow this point to go beyond. If, if uh, OpenCV finds a spot here, it does not belong to, to this uh, point. It probably belongs to somewhere on the grid to a different point that travels from here to here. So if we uh, calibrate at 2000, we know that point can travel probably plus 30 pixels to the right and minus 290 to the left. Uh, these are not precise numbers, they are also done through experiment. And that's pretty much it. Uh, during calibration it remembers where is this point located for central point and it also remembers every other point in the grid. 
it takes multiple pictures and I believe it, it's 10 or 15 pictures and compares the grid points in each one of them and as long as they match with each other these points are remembered as calibrated points at the at one of the files and every time LiDAR is running it identifies some kind of a point somewhere compares its distance and pretty much finds the point and I explained how it finds that point in the part one well that pretty much concludes my description if you have any questions my LiDAR uh, sorry, my website for the li open source LiDAR will be open soon and I will put the, its name in the description and you can ask the questions and exchange knowledge with me or with each other. That's about it.